Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. So sorry, my other camera is not working today, so it's got to be like this. Um, these are the Akashic Tarot deck that I'll be using first. I'm going to pull one of these for you guys. I just feel like if anybody gets the Akashic um, Tarot deck, it will be Aquarius. So come on, let's see what we have for you guys today. Caught in the ruins. Are you guys feeling stuck? Okay, well, let's see. In this card, there's two people, so you could feel like bound to somebody, trapped with somebody here, but there is no roof. So there is a way to escape this. You could be feeling like you're in the karmic trenches or going through something here. This is card 16 as well. Um, you know, it could be that you build up something so magnificent that's now in ruins. Caught in the ruins and you feel like, you know, you're caught in the aftermath of this could be great love affair or great business venture that could be now in ruins. You feel like you're stuck in it, but although there is an old gate at the front, um, there is no roof. You can get out of this. You can escape this. So don't be telling yourself there's no way out of this. There is, okay? So like I said, it will not resonate with everybody. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot deck now. So let's do this. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. It's been published in July. There's a retrograde coming. But this is just for when you see it. Okay. <laughs> Return of the Mac. <laughs> Somebody's returning from the past here with the Six of Cups. Definitely you could feel like, you know, you're caught in the ruins of this soulmate. You know, um, they've left you in the ruins. What they've left behind after what was once something so beautiful, you know, that you're now left behind in the ruins here. But it is the retrograde, as I said, when I'm doing this in July. So... We are going to see this card in, in nearly all readings. And not all exes will return. I do have a video out on that. My ex didn't return in the retrograde. So if you want to look at that, there's some great comments on there, you know, as well as it being a great video. Um, there's a lot of people sharing their story as well. So that may help you out if you find this video does not resonate, you know, with your ex returning. But this is like something that was once beautiful. Um, that now feels like you're stuck in the ruins of it, this person is returning with the Six of Cups. Somebody you already have memories with here. So let's see, Aquarius, like I said, things from the past coming back. It is the retrograde. I mean, it's, don't blame me. Five of Swords. So you feel like even if they return, you could still be very argumentative with them or them with you. Um, you know, you can have things to say to them here with this um, Five of Swords energy. Um, things that left, you know, this wonderful thing in the ruins here could have been an argument. Um, but this seems like everybody lost in this situation. You may feel like, you know, your soulmate is off living a different life and it's perfect and everything's rosy. This shows that both of you like are lost in this situation. Both of you feel the aftermath of this. So it's not just you. They are feeling it too. They feel still attached to this. It could be unfinished business and that's why things come back in the retrograde here. Oof, the emperor. So it could be a mother figure for some. Somebody um, could be questioning here, do they want this new beginning with the Two of Wands and um, the Empress here? It could be Aries for some um, with this Five of Swords, Empress and Two of Wands. Um, but it doesn't really matter about the signs. We have a water card here also. The Empress could also represent Taurus. So don't worry too much on the signs. Um, but this, you could be questioning, you know, 
should I make this new beginning with somebody from my past, somebody who left me in the ruins here, you know, um, some arguments, some unfinished business here, things left unsaid, I feel. So, you know, the door is open here during the retrograde. The Empress will indicate a planet as well. So the door's left open at this time to communicate with this person. You know, you or them are at a crossroads now. So you could be feeling the urge to reach out to them. That's what the retrograde does to us, make us go back and look. Look, there's so much Mars energy here. Five of Wands jumping out now. Very tough energy you would have had with this person. Um, a lot of conflict here, a lot of inner conflict. Um, maybe should I reach out to them or is it a waste of my time? Is it a lose-lose situation if I reach out? But I'm at this crossroads now here. So I can reach out and say what I've got to say. Or I can leave these things left unsaid and still feel this energy. Still feel really crappy about this. Like things were left in ruins. Nobody won from this situation, I'm telling you. Now you're left with this inner conflict. Do I want them or not? They've ruined it all, it feels like here. But I feel like this situation will be revisited at this time. Something new will spark up here with the Empress. Careful of this fiery Mars energy though. This could be inner conflict or it can be conflict with another person. I mean, if you go into it um, all guns blazing, then it will turn into arguments and it will be a lose-lose situation. If you want to communicate with this person or they want to communicate with you, I would advise wait until after the retrograde here. Hold on. The battery is deciding to go at this very minute. Sorry about this, guys. to get it in the hole that's what she said <laughs> shouldn't joke like that okay so be careful of um this energy let it pass then if you want to communicate and you want things to work out let it pass okay three of cups so definite talks of wanting to reunite or you know um it definitely feels like wanting to reunite here i want to say somebody has good news to tell you it could be somebody could even be pregnant here um this could you know bring up all sorts of emotions for you here but um it seems like it's good news for somebody for others it's somebody wanting to talk about reuniting you having inner conflict about it and feeling like Yes, I love this person. I know, you know, I have this connection with them. I feel like they're my soulmate. But no matter how I go around it, I can't win. And you're just at this crossroads now. And you're, it's like, should I, shouldn't I with this two of wands? You know, do I start again? It could just be a mother figure here as well. Could be even arguments with your own mum. Oh, correction. It's the lovers here along with the four of wands could be um this can indicate a marriage card as well with the four of wands but it's like rebuilding something like you know the four corners um rebuilding something here this is two people who care a lot about each other with the lover's card um they've shared a connection already uh especially with the six of cups here and it's like Wanting what you had or something here. Um, wanting some, a new beginning, a new chance with them, an opportunity with them or them with you here. Wanting to reunite definitely with this Three of Cups. I mean, I always do advise against that in the retrograde. Wait till this, because look at this energy that's with it. All this fiery Mars energy where it could quickly turn into like arguments rather than what you intended it to be here. Maybe, you know, you just want to talk to them and it could end up quite argumentative in this energy. So be careful of that. But this is somebody. Okay, 
could involve a marriage here with the Hierophant. For some, um, it will be a Taurus as well here. Um, we have Gemini with the lovers and we have Ten of Wands. So it could be that if you're married here, your marriage is a burden um, and you're wanting to let go of it because you feel like it's a lose-lose situation but you respect the sanctuary of marriage so you know you're trying to hold on as much as you can that's for some there you know trying to hold on what you feel is right like we said these vows so i'll put up with this um you know to keep a happy home here but i feel like it could be getting the better of some of you there this says this ten of wands right if you want to even marry this person or you know you had a great relationship with this person and now you find that you can't even speak to them without it being a big argument um what i would suggest is wait for this energy to pass um so that you know and not put pressure on them okay or them, if you feel like you're being pressured, you might back away. Um, so don't put pressure on them to try and communicate because it might turn into an argument rather than something positive. Um, so here, yeah, letting go of this burden of the past here, or maybe of a marriage, um, you need to definitely let go of this burden of this inner conflict and make a decision. Maybe you're deciding you want a new beginning with them. It's completely up to you guys. But there definitely is a way out of these ruins for you. So don't worry. And like I said, if somebody comes back from your past um, and you feel like this, this inner conflict or argumentative, let the energy pass first. Especially if, you know, they are wanting you to reunite with them here. Okay. It's like they want this new beginning, but... Um, I feel like you're questioning it or they're questioning it like you know will it even work out this time you know um so guys yeah good luck take things easy during the retrograde